Welcome back to Retro Wolf 88. Today we're going to take a look at how to repair the drifting on your Joy Cons for your Nintendo Switch. We've got two Joy Cons here, and we're going to repair the drift problem that they have. It's not a difficult fix, all you need is a couple of tools. We have the Tri-Force, is what I'm going to call it because it sounds better than its real name, that's specifically made for just about everything Nintendo, and a Phillips head screwdriver. I also use a nice pair of tweezers. It helps when you're plugging in the ribbon cable from the Joy-Con. So let's get started. First, we're going to take the four screws on the back side of the Joy-Con out using the Tri-Wing screwdriver. So we've gone online and purchased a couple of Joy-Con replacements for the control sticks. You can pick these up for about $10 and they get your job done. I've replaced some other Joy-Con joysticks and it's lasted me about three months without any issue. Now that we've removed the screws, we'll go ahead and pull the casing off the back portion of the Joy-Con. I do use a little guitar pick looking tool that comes with a toolkit that you can buy on Amazon for Nintendo stuff, like 15 bucks. When you separate the two, try not to pull too hard because there is a ribbon cable there. Once you have the case removed, the portion that has the switch button to pull it in and out, and the two shoulder buttons may need to be removed. And for that, we'll use the Phillips head. This just makes it a little easier when you go to pull the joystick off. So the next step is to remove the battery. They don't put a lot of glue on them, so they're not real hard to pull up. Try not to puncture the battery. Lithium ion makes fireworks. Once you have the battery broke loose from the glue, we're gonna leave the connector connected and just pull the battery to the side. Now we're gonna remove the battery tray screws. We have three brass colored screws that we're gonna remove. Again, you want to be careful because there is another ribbon cable connected to the battery tray. But now that we've got it off, we're going to go ahead and remove the ribbon cable that's holding the Joy-Con control stick down. And then we're going to pull the control stick up after we've removed a Phillips head screw. These type of connectors, they have a little lever on the back. Flip it up and then you can pull your old Joy-Con joystick loose. Now we're going to remove the screw on the top and the bottom. We're going to go ahead and remove this ribbon cable just so I don't break it. Metro Wolf 88 wouldn't be happy. And that gives us access to the screw on top. Once you have the screws out, there is a felt ring that usually sits between the Joy-Con controller and the joystick itself, so you don't want to pull too hard because you'll want that to stay in place. Once the old Joy-Con control stick is removed, putting it in is just the reverse. Be very careful with the ribbon cables because they are kind of delicate. I like to put the screws on the Joy-Con control stick in before I try to connect the ribbon cable so it's not flopping around. Once you have the screws in place, you can reconnect the ribbon cables. I use my tweezers to gently slide them back in place and then press the locking mechanism back down on each of the connectors. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we've got the ribbon cables connected and the Joy-Con joystick screwed back down, we're gonna put the battery tray back in with the three brass colored screws. Reconnect the side button panel, which has the charging port on it, to the back plate of the Joy-Con. Now we're just going to press the two together and put the four screws in the back back in place. Now I'm going to repeat the same process on the right hand Joy-Con and go ahead and put the new joystick on it. This Joy-Con has a little bit different setup as far as where the screws are, there's still just three brass colored screws that you'll need to remove to get the tray out. You'll need to move this cable away from the tray so you can pull it out without ripping the cable up. There is another ribbon cable connected to the battery tray. You can turn the battery tray to the side gently and continue the repair without removing it. And again, remove the little clip that holds the ribbon cable in place, pulling up on it and pulling it out. And again, we're just gonna do the reverse of what we did to take everything apart to put it back together. Just being very careful with the ribbon cables. Once we have the Joy-Con screwed back in, we have to reconnect the cable being very gentle when they slot it in. That's what she said. <laughs> and now we're going to put the ribbon back in place that we removed prior to pulling the battery tray out. It does have a little slot that it fits in, so we wanna put it back in there before we try to clip the whole thing back together. Put your battery back in place, and we're gonna reconnect the charging port and shoulder buttons the Joy-Con to the other side. Now we're just going to snap the pieces back together and put the four screws holding them together in place.
And there you have it. That's replacing the joysticks on your Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch. Once you have these replaced, you will have to go back to the cons console itself and do a calibration on them. I had to do at least two before I got it right. Maybe you'll be a little better. If you have any questions or comments, go down to the comment section and let us know. We'll always try to get back to you on that. Make sure you like and subscribe to the Retro Wolf 88. That way you can see more videos when they happen. Thanks. <laughs>